Hi, everybody. My name is Mary Petruzzi with Team Petruzzi, and I serve the central Indiana area. And I am joined today with Mario. Mario, can you tell everyone uh, where you're from and the markets that you serve? Sure. I'm Mario Bravo with Prestige Realty, and I'm working in the Peoria, Arizona area, Phoenix, Arizona, uh, Sun City, Scottsdale area of uh, Maricopa County. Wonderful. And I know for a lot of Hoosiers, that's what they call here in Indiana, um, a lot of them retire to Maricopa County. Um, if someone is still on the fence as far as where they want to go to for their next adventure, what makes Maricopa County a great place for retirement? I think most people want to come here to retire because of the weather. Um, there's plenty of sunshine. It gets pretty warm. Um, there's plenty of outdoor activities, hiking, biking, trails, stuff like that. Um, but uh, mostly they come for the sunshine and the openness, the uh, desert landscape, um, and all that has to offer, um, knowing that we're still probably only about five hours away from the ocean and only about two hours away from the Flagstaff uh, Pine Top snow area. Wonderful. Wonderful. Um, now, for someone who is looking to retire there, if they still want to stay active, are there a lot of uh, volunteer opportunities for people who want to kind of still stay, you know, connected with other people? Yeah, we definitely have a lot of retirement communities out here um, that are very active adult communities um, in Sun City and Surprise and Buckeye in Peoria. Um, plenty of activities. They're able to volunteer in almost anywhere out here. Um, volunteer is uh, pretty much uh, in the community wherever you want to do it, whether it's like with the uh, Red Cross, whether it's education, um, any other special interests you might have. There's definitely a lot of volunteer um, opportunities out here. That's great. Uh, anything that's different in Maricopa County that would be different than what they're used to back in Indiana? No, not too much. I mean, the uh, like sales tax can run anywhere between six and eight percent. Um, there's a property tax um, that depends on the property that you bought, how much that is, but that's really not too expensive here either. Um, at the like I said, the cost of living is pretty low here in Maricopa County. Now, what do buyers need to know about your community? I mean, when they're still shopping around um what are they what do they need to know about maricopa county and the people Mar and yeah go ahead. Right. Mar maricopa county is still growing um people are moving here by the thousands um we have communities that pop up all over the valley um you know so depending on what you like you can pick an area that you do like um but the communities are still popping up um, demand is still high for, for these adult communities and new builds. Let's say they want to retire at the end of 2023. Uh, How far in advance do they need to make a decision? And they can tour the valley and it might take them a few days, maybe even, you know, a few weeks to explore the communities and the areas of Maricopa County to see what they like best. And then maybe another trip if they do find an area that they do like, then maybe just another trip just to explore that one area. Um, so I would probably say, um, I would probably, I would probably try to get out here four to six months before they want to move. Okay. Um, and explore the area um, before they make a decision. Um, and then they can explore the communities, the new home projects, resale homes, uh, any area they're interested in, all the upcoming new areas. So so how long have you been serving the real estate needs of the people of Maricopa County? I've been working in Maricopa County for about 16 years now as a uh, licensed, Arizona licensed realtor. Um, and I've, I've worked from sold houses, bought houses with clients in Phoenix, Sun City, um, Santan Valley, Goodyear, Litchfield Park, um, 
pr pretty much a, a pretty big area. Yes, yes. Um, any little known fact about your area, a little fun fact that most people wouldn't know? Uh, we have a lot of hiking trails, um, and until you get on those mountains and until you see the uh, saguaro cactus, you, you kind of really underestimate the beauty of it. We have several lakes out here that are just beautiful and majestic and, and really, really nice. Um, and if you've never heard of Sedona, the Red Rocks in Sedona, that's only about an hour and a half, two hours away that you could just spend, you could spend weeks there hiking. It's just beautiful. Oh, it sounds amazing. We don't have anything more than a little hill in, in Indiana. Yeah, I would say here in Maricopa County, we have probably about three to four weeks of winter that somebody would call a cold winter. <laughs> that it may be get at nighttime, it gets close to freezing, probably only about three to four weeks a year. Oh my gosh, that just sounds so nice. Maybe I just need to come out to Maricopa County and check it out. Yeah, I think if, I think if you come out here for vacation or if you looked and you uh, visit Sedona or you visit Scottsdale, Paradise Valley, um, so many other places, um, people, people come here just to visit and then never want to leave. Thank you for taking the time to uh, kind of educate everyone on your area and what the things they need to consider and need to know about Maricopa County. Um, if you want to learn more about Maricopa County or if you wanted to contact Mario direct, all of his information is on this site and you can connect him, connect to him directly. Thanks again, Mario. All right. Thank you, Mary.